YouTube and welcome to your 8th JavaScript tutorial. In this tutorial, we will be looking at loops in JavaScript. I'm pretty sure all of you or maybe most of you are familiar with loops in JavaScript or basically simply loops. Loops are actually used to repeat a set of code again and again unless a condition called base condition is satisfied. For instance, you say to JavaScript run this condition 10 times then this is a kind of loop in javascript we have mainly three kinds of loop that is for loop while loop and do while loop in for loop we have the condition like for temporary variable is equal to a value temporary variable is greater than or less than or whatever the condition a value increment the variable and the code goes here this is a kind of syntax for a for loop for instance let's write the multiples of 3 on the screen for that we'll do for i equals 0 i is less than 10 or let's use for i equal 1 because 3 1 is a 3 i plus plus what we'll do here is we'll do a document dot write 3 star 1 equals i plus let's give a space i star 3 now what's happening here is we are doing okay let's write i here we are doing a document dot write 3 star i which is incremented at every loop is i star 3 which would write this code this code would run 10 times and it will write a table of 3 on the screen let's see as you can see, 3 1 is a 3, 3 2 is a 6, 3 3 is a 9, and so on. Now, if you want this loop to run to 10, then you have to specify the condition either i is less than 11 or either i is less than or equal to 10. Let's see what happened. Okay, so make sure the position of is equal to is correct, less than or equal to, not or equal to or less than. Remember that um, equal, double equal to sign doesn't work here. If you try to do this for i equal 1, i is equal is equal to 10, i plus plus, this code would not work. You have to specify less than and a equal to. And it would work like a charm. Okay, coming to the next loop is the while loop. Now while loop, the basic syntax is while condition is true, do the stuff. Now what happens is, if I do while true document.write This is an infinite loop which would crash my browser if I refresh it right now but I won't and won't give you advice to do so as well if you want to do this then make sure to keep your taskbar and your task manager ready to kill the browser process immediately after you press the refresh button because the browser will try to eat all of your computer memory because this is an infinite loop since we don't have any base condition to get out of this loop to get out of this loop we use a keyword break for instance if i equal 10 then break break out of this loop and initial let's initialize the variable i here to 0 and don't forget to increment the variable i as well within the loop as you can see hello world is printed out 10 times on the document 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 and 10 the next loop is 
two while loop for example if i have like while i is greater than 10 or maybe less than 10 let's remove this condition because we already have base condition now here and we are doing document dot write i plus plus let's say if i was actually set to 10 then this loop would not run because i is not actually less than 10 it is itself 10 therefore to solve this problem we have a loop called do while loop the purpose of do while loop is only to run the loop at least one time this loop would run at least one time at least one time no matter what is the uh, condition the base condition or the loop condition let's say while i is greater than or less than 10 now this loop should not run actually because the base conditions already fulfilled i is a quite large number but this loop would run at least one time see the do while loop at least runs one time no matter what is the base condition the next kind of loop we have in javascript which is quite new is the foreign loop now what a foreign loop does is to explain a foreign loop let's create an array first let's create a number uh, string array let's write a foreign loop now the foreign loop syntax is something like for temp variable in array and do the stuff much cleaner than the traditional foreign loop isn't it let's use it let's use for i in array make sure to initialize i to 0 somewhere in their code and now we are free to use the i as a index value in the foreign loop and if we run this code we get the output as 1 2 and 3 because i here is automatically incrementated in foreign loop you don't have to make a fuss around incrementing array or breaking the loop because this is a kind of smart loop which automatically increments the temporary or the garbage variable and automatically assigns value to it. So these were the 3 plus 1 kind of loops in JavaScript. We'll be using these loops in the future tutorials for sure. And I hope you like the video and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any questions, feel free to leave the questions in the comment section. Thank you for watching.